Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Advanced Machines plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which adds these awesome machines that you can see in front of me that do really awesome things. So we're going to go through all of them and see what they can do and how this plugin works. And it's just a really awesome plugin and it's made really well. So first of all, if we want to get any of these machines that you can see here, we can do forward slash machines item followed by the item name. So there's a long list of them. So we could get the collect machine if we wanted. And there you go, you can see it in my inventory now. Uh, we could get a different one, such as the block breaker item. And what you can do is just hit tab and it'll give you a list of all of them. So what do these items do? Well, this one is pretty straightforward, the block breaker. It's going to break any blocks you put in front of it. So if we were to wait a few seconds, this block is going to be broken. Now that's not very interesting as it is, but if we click into the item, you can see there's a cool GUI. We can turn redstone input on or off. We can turn the machine on or off. There is also an upgrade section. Now in here, we can upgrade various things such as the range. We can upgrade the speed. We can give it a silk touch upgrade so it will not break ores, for example. And we can increase the fortune upgrade as well. And these all cost XP and money. So every machine has a uh, different amount of upgrades and different types of upgrades that you can get, which is really awesome. So if I were to put Diamond Door in front of it now, it's going to go a lot more quickly. And if we look in the inventory, we can see that there aren't diamonds in there. There is the ore, which is obviously because of the silk touch. We have gravel coming down via gravity. And as you can see, it is putting everything in the block breaker. And that's just really awesome. Then we have the auto crafter. So in here you can have things be crafted automatically. So I've chosen a diamond shovel. In the input we have all of our items that we need. And upgrade, we can obviously upgrade the speed. So we can change the item if we were to grab something else such as a diamond hoe. So switch that with the shovel like so and go to the output and we can take these out. There we go. And it will start making diamond hoes. And then if we were to go back to the input, you can see it's using materials there and we've almost run out. So that is how you would use the auto crafter, a very useful piece of kit. Then we have the deep storage unit. So as the name would suggest, this allows you to have a ridiculous amount of storage. And if we were to increase the cap capacity up to 12,000, that's how crazy it is. Next, we have the block placer, which as the name would suggest, places blocks. So if you were to put it down, the placing side is the opposite side to where you put it down from. So it'll be the opposite side here. Go into the inventory, put in the items you want to place down. And then if we upgrade it, we can upgrade the range and obviously the speed. So what is this going to do? Well, if we step back, it's going to build out a really long block of lines, probably about 10 blocks long. And this is how you would use the block placer. Next over here, we have the mob slayer, which is probably the, one of the most useful items that you can use. And as you can see, it's just destroying these creepers every couple of seconds. It's doing a massive amount of damage to them. And that is how it works. So if we place it down and then place down some mobs, we can see that initially it doesn't do too much. You can have a filter so you can disable and enable which mobs you want it to kill. And obviously there's different pages for all the different mobs, which is really awesome. If we go back, we can click show area and that would normally show the area that it's affecting. And then if we go into upgrades, we can upgrade the amount of um, mobs that attacked in the cycle. We can upgrade the range, the speed and the amount of damage. That's probably the most important one. And there we go. So once we've done a full upgrade it's just going to go crazy and just get rid of the creepers very very quickly so that is probably my favorite one that we have in this plugin let's go ahead and go look at some more machines so next we have the cobblestone generator which is pretty cool and as the name suggests this generates cobblestone it pretty much does only that so if we wanted to get it we could get machines item and then cobblestone generator there we go place it down and it's literally just going to start um, creating cobblestone. Make sure you obviously face it towards the direction, not the ground. And then if we place three down and upgrade them in different amounts, we will see the difference that it makes when you increase the range for each one. So let's go ahead and increase, increase the range for the second one as well and speed. And as you can see, they are increased different amounts and you would have infinite cobblestone which is really awesome so next we're going to have a look at the collector item so this one is pretty straightforward it collects items so 
any items that are dropped on the ground, it's going to suck them up every X amount of seconds. And if we look in the inventory, we can see that they are stored in there. And if we were to grab some more random blocks and just throw them out on the ground wherever we wanted, give it a few seconds and the collector is going to suck them up like that. And there they are. Obviously the upgrade section, you can increase the range, the capacity and everything. And then if we look in the inventory, we can see all of our items in there. Then we have the breeding machine. So this is really awesome. This allows you to simply breed animals automatically. So make sure you have a pen like this with animals. And what you need to get is something to breed them with. So I usually use the wheat, that's probably the best thing. So you need kibble. Kibble is um, the food, so you can use wheat or something else. And what you're gonna to want to do is place it in the inventory. So click the chest and place it in here. And as you can see, the machine is now with four green bars and that means it's got food in and it can start breeding. So we're almost full now and you should be able to see some baby animals appearing. Uh, there's a couple of baby pigs and if we fill it up even, even more, we should be able to have loads of baby animals. So there are a lot of things you can upgrade here. So the kibble cost, the speed, the range, the inventory, the animal storage, etc., uh, which is really awesome. And now we can have loads more kibble. So we have a baby cow now, that's really awesome. So next we have the industrial furnace. And as you can see, there's a really awesome particle effect on top of this. And what this is gonna do is increase the smelt speed by a lot. So if we upgrade it fully and then go back into input, we can see all of our ores that we want to smelt. And if we go to output, you can see we are getting a lot of ingots. So let's go ahead and grab one of our own. Let's grab some gold ore for this test. And what we're gonna do, we are gonna stick it in the input and see how quickly it actually smelts. So usually this would take ages, but if we go to output, you can see we're already at half a stack 48, 56, and there we go, a full stack of gold smelted very, very quickly. So that is the plugin. It's a really fantastic and well-made plugin with loads of cool features, loads of different machines. You can see it's updated to the latest version of Minecraft on Spigger page. There's some really cool pictures and loads of information on here, which is awesome. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.